Hey fam, thank you for coming over tonight. We're going to be discussing, as you can see, Jenny Mai and Young Jeezy. Okay, he feels that she is definitely uh, keeping him from his child. And I was like, really? I don't think so. She don't look like the type that would do that. Young Jeezy? But we have an article from the Shade Room. They say otherwise. As you can see, it says Jenny Mai denies claims she is keeping her daughter away from Jeezy. <clears throat> voice to say the concerns over his firearms. Okay, so she's concerned about guns. Let's keep reading. <clears throat> Jenny Je Mai is refuting, <clears throat> refuting claims that she is keeping her daughter away from Jesus. Uh, the document showed Jenny has, however, voiced concerns about Je Jesus' firearms and the safety of their child. And I'm like, why are you living with Jesus? Did he not have him secured up when the baby was in your stomach? Then the baby plopped out your stomach. So your baby wasn't in danger when y'all were together. Now your baby in danger? Really? Come on, Jenny. You can do better than that. Um, in the documents, Jenny's attorney says it is essential to clarify that Mrs. Jenkins insists on reasonable safety measures being put in place, such as safety securing and locking away all firearms that have been unsecured in the past, as well as having familiarity and properly trained caregivers is absolutely not gatekeeping, but rather a responsible effort to prioritize their daughter uh, well-being. Jenny says she gives Jeezy all the dates he requests to see their daughter, including some extra time this Christmas season. She says she wants Jesus' presence in their daughter's life, but safety is her primary concern. Now, do we agree with that or do we not? I agree with it, you know, especially if he's used to just having a gun laying around him or on him. I can see her concern there, but if all them guns are locked up and secured and double locked, there is no reason why Eugenie should keep Jeezy away from his daughter. I mean, she is his father. That is her father, right? But we're going to step down in these comments and see what other people had to say. And as you're looking at the video and listening to the very end, please put your comments down in the comment section that I have so we could continue this dialogue. Okay? All right. It says, according to court documents, Jenny Mai is refuting claims that she is keeping uh, her daughter away from Jeezy. Uh, yeah, that was the shade room. We ain't going to go back over that again. Uh, let's see. Um, one commenter. Come on. Oh, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Okay, uh, get up to par. She said, "Black men, y'all done, y'all are done playing yet." All right, Tony Baker said, "Huh?" Tigger's swagger says it wasn't a safety issue when they were married. I like get. He was on the same wavelength I was. Like, go figure. Um, I am Barb. Wow, it's getting ugly. Normally, divorce does. Okay, the stuff blog spot says typical. The real Courtney B says, listen, y'all, love these women through. Black women sit this one out. It's not our battle. <laughs> Cause she, just because she's from the Asian persuasion. Oh, my goodness. We know she's a Vietnamese woman. Okay, they're the lower class in that um, culture. Okay, all right. Uh, Ronnie Brown says, who you marry is not who you divorce. Dear black man, wake up. Mm-hmm. Uh, young Scooter said, he bet you over with, he, he bet, oh, he bent you over with the firearms there. Ooh, that's taking a little bit too personal right there. They got all up in the Kool-Aid. V. Williams TV says, it's beyond being bitter. She's using her pro proximity to whiteness to keep the upper hand. You know how black men are treated in the justice system and country. And now you want to share your concerns about guns publicly? Now that you aren't together, she's dangerous? 
But he, I mean, she meant to say he's dangerous, okay? Unless she really thinks something else, he ain't no, you know what I'm saying, okay? He might switch the other way. All right. See, it's I saw it good. We got Thomas, uh, wait a minute, Adriana won. She said, you knew this Negro had guns before you met him. She's pissing me off. Don't get pissed off. Because she's going to do enough for the black people. <laughs> for the black women, I should say. If she wants to take all his money, go ahead. Because she could have got a sister. He know what sister's all about. We down for our man that treat us right. But hey, he didn't see it that way. He didn't see it that way at all. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> Chris, no, just mommy. She said she's low key snitching too. Y'all gonna learn one day, black men, to stay in your lane. That's right, stay in your lane now. <clears throat> Some cultures don't mix, <clears throat> they really don't. And they don't care who cares about it or not. Uh, we got Chris Period. He says, girl, it wasn't no safety concern when he was loving you long time. Okay, okay. Uh, Lennox says, what's next? The baby can't eat soul food. <laughs> Ooh, boy. She tried to get a, um, a, a chef for him because she didn't know how to cook black folks food. But y'all, the comments are hilarious. So y'all get down in my comments. Y'all tell me what y'all felt about this situation. Jenny might going off the, the track saying Jesus is dangerous with his guns because he got guns laying everywhere. Is that so, Jenny? Is that so? Child, please. You were chasing after this boy even when he said he wanted to divorce you. You were still going after him. So just slow your roll, Jenny. Slow your roll. Let the baby girl see her dad and go on sign them divorce papers. I don't be too crazy with the money. That's all I got. I ain't got no more. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.